little Antonio Machado poem. You say you can't create anything new? Don't worry about it. Make a cup from which your brother can drink. Everybody isn't determined to do a work of art unlike any that's ever been done. This turns out to be shit. You say you can't create anything new? Don't worry about it. Make a cup from which your brother can drink. In regard to these cups, Jack, will you sing us a song tonight at the banquet? Good. Here's a little poem of mine. What choice do we have but to go down? What choice do we have but to go down? How can I be close to you if I'm not sad? The clam tumbles in the surf, and amber holds the secret desire that the bee fell before his room grew silent. The clam tumbles in the surf, and amber holds the secret desire that the bee fell before his room grew silent. The lonely man reads by his lamp at night. What is it that we want? What is it that we want? Some ancient man, half bear and half human, knows what we want. The more he talks to us, Swifter, we tumble down. So I, I don't want to leave the thing of the father, so I want to read another poem for my father. Several men here have fathers who are dying now. James has brought up this question, how long are you going to complain about your father and your mother? How many more years is this going to go on? Remember, he said that to me three or four years ago. He said something like that. I've entered the group, and how long are these men going to complain? I says, well, I'm going to complain a few more years. I don't know about them. <laughs> but... And there's a sense that your father and your mother were only intended to last you around until the age of 35 or so. They're just temporary. They're part of the whole descent thing. After that, you got to do it yourself. After that, you have to work with that image and find a father as a mentor, as an older man. It's got to go this way, this way, this way. And if you don't find a physical one, you got to find one that's dead, or you can find one that's dead. He'll be a better father for you than your own father. You just came out of the gene pool anyway. You didn't come out of your father exactly. And, um, and imaginative work is necessary to find your second father. It's like imaginative sex. It's the same motion. It's so easy to have your father and start talking about my father is this way, my father is that way, he never did this. And it's important to look at all that and feel the grief of it that you, it's important to make it conscious, the grief that you felt in childhood when we had an inadequate father, which we all have had. But then there's imaginative work necessary in the next stage. 
And if you don't do that imaginative work, you'll be caught as a kind of fundamentalist father whiner for the rest of your life. <laughs> so, another thing is, have we actually received <clears throat> the fathering that our father actually gave us? James, a few years ago, said something like, you know, you're all looking for your father for strength. Strangely, you all want to be fathered by your father's strength. But you can also be fathered by your father's weakness. We all have a certain way we want to be fathered when we come into this world. How, 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 how about if your father didn't father you that way? He had his own way to father. What if they don't fit? It's very likely they don't. That doesn't mean he didn't father. So, in our, in our disappointment with our fathers, we often fail to take in the places where he did do the father. So, I thought about that, and it, con it contributed with it to this poem. Uh, it's called My Father's Nick. My father's neck. Your, your chest hospital gown awry looks girlish today. It is your bluish reptile neck. It's a farmer's neck that is known the world or the weather. I don't know exactly what to say. I said to you, are you ready to die? I am. It's too boring around here. Well, that means someplace else is not boring. The doctor said he's not ready to go. There must have been a fire that nearly blew out, or a large soul inadequately feathered that became cold and angered. Some four-year-old boy in you, chilled by your mother, <clears throat> misprized by your father, said, I will defy, I will win anyway, I will show them. And when your wife's sister offered to take your two boys during the Depression, you said it again. And now you speak the defiant words to death. This four-year-old man in you does as he likes. He likes to stay alive. Through him you get revenge, persist, endure, overlive, overwhelm, get on top. You gave me this, and I do not refuse it. It is in me. Yeah.